Okay, so for this project, what you're going to turn in for this, you're going to have a minimum of six screenshots. So even if you just do the basic portion of it, where you're only going to get two points, um, you're still going to have six screenshots. Okay, so first off, I want an overall um, image of the robot in an isometric view. So your normal little isometric view right there, um, a screenshot of that entire robot. Then also, I want it from the side view. So right there, screenshot from the side view. If you're doing one that has the ball mechanism that's being moved, um, or the ball is being moved to the mechanism, have this six inch long bar in there, just the way that I did when I kind of showed you that on the other video. So I want to see the six inch long bar so I have a, an idea of scale and I can visualize, yep, that's going to work to move your ball at least that six inches. Obviously, if you don't have all the rest of this mechanism and you just have your base robot, that won't be included in it. But I still want this in there. This will also give me an idea to try to, to size this up for an 18 inch long robot. Um, right now, um, haven't measured mine at all, but I'm 99% sure mine is well over 18 inches long. Um, yeah, mine's 25 inches long. So mine would not fit into the specifications. Mine would be out of specs. So I wouldn't get that point for that. But I can I can see it and I can estimate the length by knowing how many uh, how long these bars are here. It's 0.75 inches in between the center of these two holes. All right. So again. Um, isometric view, side view, and then I want a front view of it too. Um, well, that's the back, but whichever one shows me more, <coughs> excuse me, whichever one shows me more, whether it's the front or the back view, um, I don't care. Um, on this one, I like this view, which is called the back. It's more so the front of the robot with the way I did that, but that view there would be great. Um, so there's three of your shots. <clears throat> then next, um, I want a detail drawing of at least two of your um, corner joints. So detail drawing of at least two of your corner joints. So zoom in there so I can see your corner joint and I can see your brackets on it. Right there I can see that this has a top bracket and bottom bracket. I can see your two brackets on there. So there of one corner and then of another corner. And make sure, give me a view where I can see your actual brackets. There, I can only see one of my brackets. So I won't pick that one. Uh, I can't see it there. Uh, this would be a good one. So I spin it around there. All right, right there. That corner joint. I can see those two brackets on that corner joint. So that's got you up to five screenshots. Okay. Okay. Next, I want a detail drawing of uh, one of your drive wheels. So give me a detail drawing of your drive wheel. So right there, detail drawing of that drive so I can see the bracket, see how it's mounted on there. Um, that right there, that would work for me. Uh, that gives me a detail drawing of this. It'd actually be better if it was straight. How's that? So detail drawing there of that wheel. Whoa. And how it's mounted on there. Um, right there. I like that one. I like to be able to see this outside of it. So there we go. That gives me a little detail drawing of that drive wheel, um, and I like that. I can also see your brackets there in the background, but that's fine. Um, now, if your wheel, robot's four-wheel drive, you're done there. And that's your six views of the base robot. So that's a minimum of the six. If your robot is not four-wheel drive and you have the other um, wheel that's just the Omni wheel or whatever type of wheel you want to put on there, um, I need a detail drawing of it too and see how I have it mounted on there. And right there, again, that's a good detail drawing of that. So that would have you up to seven if you had this kind of um, two-wheel drive with the Omni wheels. All right, next. Um, if you have any other connections um, on the robot, um, show me at least, show me two of those. If you only have one other connection, show me the one. If you have more than one, show me more than one. Show me at least two of those if you have more than one. So here, I'd want the detail of this connection. Now here, I did not take time when I did this to put any kind of a brace on there. I don't even have a beam that goes underneath of this. There definitely should be a beam that goes underneath of this bracket. It can't just be mounted to this top piece of plexiglass. That will not work. You would need another beam going across there or how this mounted over to the side beam or here on this front beam, however, but this needs to have a good connection there. And you have a bracket that goes in between the two, um, bracing that down. Um, and at least two brackets. So, so there you go, you need two, two brackets connecting this 
two frame pieces together, it might take you another piece of frame in between there to do that. You might actually have to cut a hole in the top of your top plate to be able to connect it down to the actual frame also. Okay, um, so there would be two more. Uh, that would have, I think, some of you up to like maybe nine drawings at this point or nine screenshots. Okay, um, then detail images of if you have anything powering the ball, if you have this as a motor um, with a gear, um, get, show me any detail images you have of that. Image slash images. So if you have a gear and a motor here, show me that gear and the motor so I can actually see the details of that. Um, if it takes more than one shot to do that, do multiple shots. I mean, one to three shots, whatever it takes to do that. But give me some details of that. Okay. Um, next, for your um, kind of your bonus on that, the extra half a point bonus, is if you do the gear train. I want to see a detailed drawing of the gear train. Um, you might have to, if you have gears on there, you might have to temporarily take out your wheel or turn off the visibility of your wheel. Um, one of those two. Um, and so I can see the actual gears and how those mesh together if you do that. So total, I think that has you up to 13 um, images if you did three for the part that powers the mechanism. Um, so anywhere from six to 13 images on this. You're going to have a lot of those submitted on there um on this project for me to see it and i'm just going to go down my checklist and check those things off as you go down there um to grade this so there you go any questions definitely email me and all of that uh i'm actually thinking i might do some um, office hours this next two weeks um maybe i don't know maybe one o'clock in the afternoon two o'clock in the afternoon something like that i'll, I'll email you and let you know that um, and try to do that maybe two or three times over the next couple of weeks in case you have any questions on this. Um, and I'll just make it a Zoom thing that we can jump in there on Zoom. I know several of you are the teachers are doing that. Um, so there you go. Um, that is it on this one. And good luck.